let's look at pivot tables. Now pivot tables, and the word pivot actually is, you know, to turn or to rotate. And all you're doing with pivot tables is rearranging information you already have in a spreadsheet. So looking at this example one, I'm in sheet one, and it's very simple. Day of the week, we've got products, we've got numbers sold in vertical columns. It's all there. But let's say we wanted to group it by product or by day and we just wanted to summarise this information. What we could do is create a pivot table. So by clicking anywhere in your data range and going to insert, you'll see on the left hand side we have pivot table. Click on it once and this box comes up. First of all, it selected the range. You'll see it circling all the information. That is absolutely fine. It then gives you the option to either have your pivot table in a new worksheet or keep it in the one you're in. By default, it will always take you to a new worksheet, which is actually, I think, is the best place to put it. So just click OK. And then what you see is you have a, a kind of box here, pivot table here, and we have this chart field box down the right hand side. And you'll see that there's four sections here, and this essentially is where you can move your uh, fields that you've brought across from your um, original spreadsheet. And you know, at this stage, if you've never used a pivot table before, just really have a play about with it. So let's say I bring down day and I'm just dragging it down to rows and you'll see all the days of the week have come down. So let's say I want to look at the um, type of products by, by day. So I could bring the product under column or I could have the day in the columns and I could have the product in the rows. You'll get the same information, it's just how do you want your information to show. I'll leave it as it is just now. So to bring in the actual numbers, we have to bring in the numbers sold down to values. And straight away, your table's still here, it's still all there, the data's still all there. You've got a new sheet with a pivot table and your information has been, been rearranged in a different way. There's a few things that we could change. So for example, where you see the text row labels, let's just call that, um, let's just call it product or fruit. Column labels, we could just call that, I don't know, uh, day. Now, this might not work. Oh, it did. Sometimes when you have a field name that's the same, it doesn't let you change it up here. But, to, you, you know, just, just try and make sure that you put titles in that are suitable. Uh, some of number sold, I think that, that's okay. A few other things you could do, I suppose, that you could, let's say, the column widths are different. I might just go along and maybe just right click column width and maybe let's just select 18 for that. A little bit of consistency, a little bit of formatting you can do. But at the end of the day, you've got your pivot table from sheet one just by dragging and dropping into place. Now, looking at the second sheet, uh, we've got another set of data. It's conference packages, companies coming in, booking various details for the conference. And again, let's see if we can summarize this by showing by package detail and the sales value. So remember, just click anywhere in your data set, insert, pivot table, check the range, new worksheet, press OK, ready to go. So let's just say I want the package details in the row and the sales value, the total revenue under values. A couple of things I'll change first of all. Let's just uh, call this um, uh, booking details and let's just call this column, column B, total sales revenue. So we're just tidying up as we're going along. Another thing is that I'd, I'd rather see pounds and a comma here, so I want to format it. I could just highlight the whole thing, go to home and go to format, or with a pivot table, I could right click, I could go to value field settings, I could go to number format, choose my currency, I'll take off the decimal places, click on OK, click on OK again, and that's it done. Now something else you can do with a pivot table is we could show this revenue as a percentage of the total revenue. And how we do that is we bring down, seems a bit daft, but we bring down the sales value again 
under values. Right, there it goes. Okay, we're not going to format it this time, but what I'm going to do is in this column, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go down, show values as, and look at all the things that you can do. The most common one you'd be asked to do, I think, is to show these values as a percent of the grand total. Click on it once, and there you'll see very clearly that the overnight and dinner um, gives you the, the, the most revenue, but at a glance, you've turned it into a percent. And again, you might not want to have, you know, two decimal places, you might just round it up to the nearest whole number. So again, we can right click, show DTM value field setting, sorry, under number format, and in percentage, we could just take off the decimal places and then click OK, and then OK again. So that is how you can show um, data as a percentage of the total. And again, what I could do is just change the, the heading there, uh, sales as percent of total. It's always important that you, you label up any field headings or if you're doing any graphs so that it makes sense to whoever's looking at it. Because remember, this is the type of thing that you could take, you could copy and paste that um, or import that into a Word document or, or a PowerPoint or something. So that is how you do the second one. Now, looking at the third sheet here, it's number three month I've got open up here. Here's a, a lengthy sheet and it's showing areas, um, locations and it's you know categories of, of food and we've got the various bits and pieces and you'll see here there's a lot of data um, by by day it goes on and on and on I don't know how long the sheet is you know there's you know 300 rows here so let's now have a look at pivot tables and dates and by the way I'm, I don't know why I'm sitting scrolling up here remember that if you're lost wherever you are in a spreadsheet, if you go to the, the, the box up here, the name box, and just type in A1, or you could do control shift up arrow to get back to the beginning again. So creating our pivot table, insert pivot, the range is fine, new worksheet, yes, click on OK. And let's say we wanted to look, um, really focusing on dates this time. So if we go to the um, order date as the row, now, I'm not sure what you might see on your screen. I think it depends what version you've got, but you'll, you'll notice that mine straight away is, is summarising it by year. And we'll come back to that in a moment. But let's just um, look at, we'll do it by, I think, category. Let's do that there. And then let's just bring down the total total sales value. And incidentally, what I forgot to say earlier was we do have a filters box here. So if you wanted to look specifically at one thing, so let's say we wanted to filter by by city or by town, you'll see that it's come up here at the moment. We're seeing the information for everything. But if I click in the filter and let's say we're just looking at Aberdeen, click on Aberdeen, click on OK, and um, that will show the Aberdeen um, figures only or click on all back to the beginning or if you don't want the filter just take it off I'm just dragging it back up to the list I'm going to quickly format this information here so again right click and we're going to go to uh, value field settings the number format um, currency and I think I'll just take off the decimal places here click on OK and then OK again now You'll notice in my um, my field here that I have got here quarters and years are showing. So if I was to click on the plus arrow back now at my pivot table, click on the plus, you'll see there it's coming up with quarters, which I don't really want. So if we're looking to show information, the dates in a slightly different way, you can sort of untick the quarters there and now you, we're, we're on to months. You can do it that way and if I did the plus here, I could bring it there. And the other place that you can go actually is you'll notice on the ribbon there's a new um, section pivot table analyze and there's a section here and it's called um, group field and you'll see here that it does give you seconds minutes hours days and then the months quarters years if I was to click on days and take off the months and quarters and then click OK that is actually giving me every single every single date um, which you know you might you might want or you might not want but like again going back to the the um, the the group selection is then you can say no I don't want that I do actually want uh, the unclick that the months and the years oops now 
actually to get the months and the years but not the quarters I've used the control key to miss out the quarters and click on OK. So you know if you're working with dates there are options either see what you've got down the right hand side, see what you've got on your pivot table, go up to pivot table analyze and looking at your, your group selection and your, your, your group field to work with the dates and again if you do um, look at your um, your options there, your your row labels, you can do sorting and you can also do filtering. So if you're looking between two dates, you can do that similarly when you got um, and you can filter your values as well. So quite a few things that you can do with dates and a pivot table. One thing else I just wanted to bring to your attention is if you can't see the options down the right hand side, so you've got your pivot table and you don't know where to go, again in pivot table design. You'll notice here there's got a show button on the far right hand side and a field list. Now I, I deleted it off there actually so just to put it back click on field list and it, it comes it comes back again. So if you lose it you haven't lost it just go up and get that field list and bring it back. So finally, let's just look at how we can turn a pivot table into a graph. It's very straightforward and very similar to creating a, a standard graph. So I've already created a pivot table from the sheet three that we were using. So we've got the product and we've got the total revenue and I just want to create a chart. I'm in pivot table analyze there and you'll see along the far right hand side we've got pivot chart. Click on it and it comes up with the same options as a standard chart. It will let you, it will come up with what it thinks looks best um, and it gives you the options. I'll keep it as the column chart. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to press OK. Now here you've now got a graph. It looks pretty similar actually and um, when you're in the graph you do have as you you do with, with a normal graph there you've got all the design features all there chart style the colors the, the quick layout the elements so you can still um, tidy up your, your, your graph from the design section but the interesting thing with a pivot table first of all actually make sure if you are doing graphs you give everything all suitable titles and um, so let's just call that um, We'll just call it products. Oops, products. With the oh, can't spell today. With the um, the pivot charts, you do actually already have uh, the the axis is already in. So we have got the product along the horizontal and the revenue um, on, on the the vertical. But you could actually go and add these axes in it as well. But we'll stick with what we've got um, at the moment. And um, the interesting thing with the pivot graph is you'll see here we've got an actual drop down option for the product and you can actually you could change the the order of it so at the moment it's set um, alpha, um actually it's, it's, it's z to a um let's put it back to a to z and you'll see that your graph has now changed in alphabetical order by product something else that you can do with a pivot table is let's say you want to compare let's say i want to deselect and i just want to check my i don't know uh, cranberry with my pretzels. So I'm just clicking the cranberry, clicking pretzel, click OK and then the graph will change to the products that you want. So it's very dynamic in that way that you can just control and decide how you want your graph to look and again you'll notice with the drop down option we do have um, there's label filters you can you can do some filtering that way uh, on, on the labels and also the, 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 the values. So that is how you can use uh, a pivot graph in Excel. Oh and by the way you can also if you wanted to like with a nor normal graph you can move the, the chart into a different location. So that's how you use graphs in a pivot table.